Hello. <laughs> Can you tell me your name? Domenico Tedesco. And where were you born? I was born in Arena, province of Catanzaro in Italy. Nonno Domenico was born in Arena, province of Catanzaro in Calabria. Jessica. Ready to paint some stuff. These are mango trees. Look. Ooh. Mango. Last year, yeah. he was loaded. And so is the other one. I'll have to come back. We got celery there. We got an olive tree. And here, Jessica. See there? Yes. We got one, two, three, four, six, seven plants of zucchini. And one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, seven plants of eggplants. See, these are the fennels. Yum, I love this. We had fennels there, and they were about this size. Yep. These are tomato plants. What oh, are... okay, so you start them off in a little yeah. pot, and then you put them in the... Yeah, more cucumbers. Yep. More cucumbers here. And why do you start them here? Because it's easier. Easier? It's easier. They grow in the pot, and then you transplant them into the, into the ground. What year did you come to Australia? I arrived in Australia on the 7th of February, 1961. How old were you? I was 20 years and six months. Wow. By, do you came by yourself? That's right, yeah. And no, was there anyone here waiting for you? My sister. No. I had a sister. Yeah. And did you find work straight away? Two weeks later, I found work in the New South Wales Railway. Yeah. And my first boss's name was Roy Luke. Yeah. L-U-K-E. It was good to you? Yeah, it was all right. It's good. I worked there for 20 months. It was hard not knowing the language. Uh, it was hard work on the line. Yeah. You know where the train comes? Yeah. That's where I started. But not knowing English? No, not a word. Wow. I went on the ship. On, on the ship, I, I went three, the, the, the trip was 30 days, mm. but the first week we didn't have lessons. The, the, the last three weeks were lessons, and I used to go uh, 9 o'clock to 11, yep. and then 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. twice a day. Mm. And in, in there, they had uh, teachers that could speak it. English and also Italian and then after a year I could speak a little bit and within three years my English improved. Excellent. Yeah. That's good. And then uh, I worked for 29 years at the Egg Board, mm -hmm. Egg Corporation yep. in Narrow Street in Litcom. And then after that I worked for 19 years service in New South Wales. You know yep. where you got to get your driver's license? Yes, you worked there. I, I worked there for 19 years. Wow. And when I retired, mm. I was 70 years old, yeah. one month and two days. Uh, uh, yeah. And that was enough. That was enough. <laughs> so I, I gave the game away. Good. <laughs> yeah. Jessica, this is La Panata. Yeah. What you do, you put the hard bread like this. Yep. Right? You put water. You put water in, mm -hmm. and the bread and the water start to boil. When that boils, you add this endive, potatoes, and the beans. The beans. Oh, I've never heard of this. Yeah. So you already boiled these? Yeah, they're, yeah. they're cooked. Yep. They're cooked. So when this is ready, yeah. we add the endive, the potatoes, and then the beans. This dish all together? Yeah, yeah. You had it when you were younger? Yeah. Back home? Who taught you how to make this? My mother. Oh, your mom. And do you make it often? In the winter. In the winter you make it? Yeah. So how long are you going to boil this for? For a while, Jessica. Yeah? Yeah. We put some end mm -hmm. Mm 
put some potatoes. Put some okay. beans. Some beans, these cannellini. Are these from the garden or from no, the jar? From the shop. From the tin. Yeah, from the shop. Yeah. And we put a bit of salt. And who do you normally make this for? Your, for yourself, your family. Oh, for myself. Yep. Sometimes my son Ralph comes. He has a little bit. He likes it. Yeah. My wife sometimes has herself some. Yeah. But uh, mainly, I'm the one who eats most of. It. Yeah. They will mix it up. Because it reminds you of your childhood. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And this is ready now? Yeah, no, not quite. No? Not quite. We need something else. Guess what? Uh, oil? Yeah, that's all right. Olive oil. Yes. Excuse me, Jessica. <laughs> now, this is the oil. Mm -hmm. And we just sprinkle it like this. So it doesn't all go in one spot. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for cooking for us. It's all right. Mm. You like it? I love it. I love this kind of food. I love that it's from your childhood. I really, it's really nice with the bread. Yeah. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Thank you. And now it's Make time for coffee. Yep. Then you put the uh, sieve in there. We need a bit more water. Yeah, that's enough. Then we we'll get the coffee. Mm -hmm. Do you grind that yourself? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I grind that this morning. We we'll fill that up with coffee. How many coffees do you have a day? I only have one or two. Not too many. Yeah. <laughs> you want very strong or, uh... or just light? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Okay. So we put the jar with the coffee back. We put the top part. We put it on the stove. And we turn the stove on. This is this one. Now. You're right. We just. Wait, we wait for, the, for that. Okay. Yeah, this is ready. We will take it off. We put it on the sink. Mm -hmm. Who wants coffee? Katerina, where are you? Do you want coffee? <laughs> Let's go over there. <laughs> and I got it. Was very yeah, nice. Nice. <laughs> Let's try the biscuits. Yes, try the biscuits. Did you make them yourself? I made them. Yeah. Especially for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jess. Let's see if you like them. Mmm. <laughs> they're, del they're delicious. <laughs> He's a good actor. <laughs>